Greetings, Johnny Linoleum here. Today we're going to take a quick look at four inch-pound torque wrenches. To do that, we'll be using a CDI 1003FDTC. This is good for 5 to 100 foot-pounds, or in the case we'll be using it today, 60 to 1200 inch-pounds. I picked this up at Pro Torque Tools in Atlanta. These guys and gals are great. Any questions you have, they're happy to tell you. They'll talk to you, they'll refer you to the right people at CDI or Snap-on. I haven't had any problems and I'm very pleased with this unit so far. That being said, they're not a sponsor. I'm not sponsored in any way. I buy the tools I want with my own money. So let's see what we got here today. I've got two, I guess you would call them entry level. We've got the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro. It's $19. It's that one there. Quarter inch anvil, 20 to 200 inch pounds. It's accurate within 4% plus or minus. The Tecton, $52, quarter inch anvil. 10 to 150 inch-pounds, also plus or minus 4%. The fit finish on a Tecton is very good. It's easy to see the numbers. Let me get the next two. These two are ringers. First up is the Icon. 3 8 head. It's 105 bucks, 40 to 200 inch pounds, plus or minus 4% accuracy. Very nice, very nice fit and finish. Although indoors I have trouble reading the numbers. If I put them under a light or go outside in natural light, I can read them. Finally, direct from Australia, a Warren and Brown deflecting beam torque wrench. Quarter inch anvil, 10 to 220 inch pounds, plus or minus 2%. So let's get it set up here and we'll try them out real quick, tell you what I think. I'll be doing an, a separate video on each of these individually. Each torque wrench is set at 100 inch pounds. We'll start with the Harbor Freight. They've all been exercised, and here we go. Ninety-three point one. Ninety-three point six. Ninety three point seven. Now we'll go to the Tecton. All set at a hundred inch pounds. Ninety eight point three. Ninety-seven point four, ninety-six point five. All right, we're going to go with the Warren and Brown deflecting beam. The pin is in. Ninety-eight point seven, ninety-nine point five, whoops, guess we forgot to put the pin in, we'll try that again. That's the dangerous thing about this. Ninety-nine point four. 
Finally, we'll go with the icon. One hundred one point seven. I pushed that a little hard. One hundred one point three. One hundred point two. All right, zoom into these down here. In the testing I did last week, I had each one tried out at 70, 100, and 125 inch pounds. I was surprised that the Pittsburgh Pro at 70 was at 1.87 under percent, at 100 minus 1.5 percent, and at 125 minus 1.61 percent. The Tecton at 70 pounds was minus 3.93 percent, at 100 minus 3.56 percent, and at 125 4.24 percent. Let me correct myself on the 70. At 70 it was negative 3.93. So with those two, I would have to put the Tecton in, in fourth place. The Pittsburgh Pro in third. Now, the Warren and Brown. At 70, it was at plus 1.13 percent. At 100, plus 0.49 percent. And at 125, minus 0.80 percent. The icon at 70 was minus 1.1% at 100, 0.74% negative, and at 125, 0.80. I'd have to say they're both extremely accurate. I think the Warren and Brown is more accurate, but the price is just too much. Um, I would have to give it to the Tecton, uh, excuse me, the icon with the Warren and Brown a close second. Do you use quarter-inch torque wrenches on anything? Inch-pounds, what do you use it for? Most of the guys I talk to can only come up with the transmission pan on a car. I think these would be more suited for high-end bike shops. Let me know what you think. Thank you.